uh, rapport with self um, beyond guilt and innocence. Uh, you state this is the most important thing you will learn this century. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Thank you, Carl. That was his words. Um, <laughs> through all our courses, we are noticing and paying attention to and adjusting for the dance we do in life between guilt and innocence. <clears throat> and when we are faced with choosing to either be guilty or innocent in any situation, um, neither choice is really useful. And either choice will take us out of rapport with ourself in one aspect or another. So finding a place where the guilt and innocence calculations continue to run but aren't what defined us define us is kind of the critical step in life and so this course is about how to get there how to find that space inside yourself mm -hmm. um, we can talk about it but it's not it's really hard so we have a we have set the course up for some experiences so you get to kind of really experience guilt really experience innocence and then be able to kind of recognize that there's a space beyond it um, and that is the rapport with self. Mm -hmm. um, so what that course is, is it's the, the theme that runs through all our courses condensed into two days. Mm -hmm. we, when we do this course, it is kind of one of our most natural courses to do because it's everything we've been saying in all the other courses. But when you say it all together, when you put it all together and when you concentrate on it, it takes you to a different place. Um, when when we first did that course, we thought it was interesting, but we were surprised at how easy it was for us. Mm -hmm. um, but the, <clears throat> the, the thing that most people in the world are doing is they're trying to be innocent, and some are trying to be guilty. Um, but because of the limitations of each of those spots and what it does to everyone else in our life, if we go all the way into innocence or all the way into guilt, we can never stay in one place or the other. And so we're constantly struggling within ourselves to find a place that's comfortable inside the guilt and innocence and that you can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to find a way to step outside of it. And that's what we we're, we're, we teach and show people how to get to. And so what specifically is the experience of rapport with self um, there are no really good words to describe that but there is I mean the closest I can get is a kind of um, okayness inside that creates a peace mm -hmm. um and it has in it the desire for more and the self-correction ability, but without a make wrong, wow. which is a really weird concept. Yeah. Right? And we, we, get, we get chunks and pieces of it, and it, it continues to grow. It's, it's, again, it's a lifelong endeavor. It is probably really close to what, you know, different religions call enlightenment or, right, there is a, like, yeah. an, oh, <sighs> your relationship with yourself changes into really being okay with the company you keep inside. Nice. Yeah. And then as soon as you do that, you're kind of okay with everybody. You, you have preferences for sure. It's not like, oh, I love everybody equally. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> being okay and having preferences are two different things. <laughs>